Hi, this is Miss D at D Special Things. Okay, I figured I'd show you my project. But before I show you my project, and I actually completed it, yes, but I have another part I want to make to go with it. I, um, I have a haul, and my haul, which I probably shouldn't show because the sale is over. It was this week, one day this week, I don't know. Someone, I saw someone's um, haul, they mentioned it. So I went ahead to Michael's and picked them up. Oh, I think it was Happy Scrappy 45. I think she had purchased these and they were the hot buys. So I did get the melon patch. I wasn't going to show them, but just in case, because you may not have seen other people, um, other people's hauls. So I'll show you mine. Yeah, um, I don't know with the hauls, and I get a lot of people that come to my site, but they get tired of the hauls, so I don't know. Skip it if you're not interested in the paper. But this one I thought was super cute, and it has, um, yeah, cutouts and all these different pages, and yeah, I thought this one had swans in it. It does. It has a page with swans on it. Like, I haven't used swans at all yet. So, maybe one of my flip cards or flip books will have flamingos on it. Do y'all see flamingos yet? I don't so. Oh, here they are. Yeah. But anyway, this one is called Melon Patch. And that's a craftsmith one. I actually paid four dollars and twenty-five cents after I used my military discount. This one is a recollections pack. It's called Sunlight Galore, but it looks almost like that one. The color and everything. So I'm thinking you can probably take these two stacks and use them interchangeably. Yeah. So there you go. This one, and I hope you all saw that because I'm not looking at my screen and then there's a shadow there. Yeah, this one is called Sunlight Galore. The same little summer thing. I know, I just flipped through it. Um, that's Sunlight Galore. And this one is playing with food. Mind you, I've never, well, I have a couple of recipe books many books that I've actually put together but I like this one because they have loads of stuff in it they have I mean I like the cutouts I'm th I think that may be what I make next because for one my son called me the other day and he wanted my mom's recipe for shrimp fried rice I told him it was in my head he says mom really he said, can't you write some of these recipes down? Because he liked to cook and so does his wife. And they'll call me and ask me about how to make something. And he'll say, just send it to me an email. And I'm thinking, no, because I don't know the measurements. I just do it because I'm used to making it. But yes, I thought this was a really good paper to use for a recipe book. And I think I'm going to work on that next. And I'm going to do it in the flip book style. Yes, I think this is going to be cute. I know, I keep going through this. And then I also got this one, the Charleston Picnic. And this is the one that goes with that, uh, let's see. It goes with that washi tape that I got last week. One of those weeks, weeks before last. I don't know. I don't think I've been doing a lot of shopping, but... <laughs> If I end up with what you end up with, then yeah, I've been shopping just as much as you, huh? It just doesn't, I think because I actually, tr I'm trying to get some crafting done and some cleanup in my room organizing, yeah. Um, Charleston Picnic, yes, I got that one and I got Southern Charm. Yeah, these are all the ones that I got from Michael's from their hot buy. I wanted that black one, but I forgot. I think I actually put it back because I looked at it and said, hmm. And I didn't look all the way through it, but then I realized that was the one that I wanted. Mm, I didn't make it back to the store that night. I think it was either the day before or the next day. I didn't make it back to the store, so 
I ended up not getting it. But anyway, you guys, I went to Joanne's and I finally got the Hello Darling stack. And you all know what that one looks like. And because I just purchased all of this paper, <laughs> not to mention the paper that I've gotten from wherever I got it from before, I have not used the paper that I got. So what I did was I had asked someone else before not to do this challenge, but to do another challenge, and they never responded to me, so I guess they weren't interested, and that's what all I could assume, is that either they didn't want to. I'm going to cut these out and make, um, you know, planner clips yeah, with them. I think a lot of these have a lot of cute little ideas, but I got this from Joanne's, and it's a DCWV pack, but I also got a DCWV pack that I had not seen. I think I heard someone say confetti before, but this one is awesome. It has half sheets with foils, it has six sheets of vellum, and it has one sheet of the confetti, pouch, confetti pouches. And this is the confetti pouch. Isn't that cute? Yes. And then, ah, you know what? You see the stuff just came out of one of these and it went everywhere. Okay, what a mess. But then it has the vellum paper and watch this comes out and fold and it has two sheets of this vellum paper with the envelope cutouts on it and then it has and it's funny because either I have this and I don't know what it looks like but and I probably didn't look at it I probably bought it and put it in the shelf but as you can see my confetti fell out and then it has two sheets of this and then it has some cutouts for boxes they actually have the cutout and you just cut it out and you put the boxes together they're like candy boxes and it has all these little doodads there's the paper I think this is really cute some more cutouts even more cutouts yeah so I thought that was cute more cutouts or cards journaling cards yeah and cupcakes I'm gonna make some planner clips for yeah with these too but yeah here's the confetti that came out of one of these things so let's see what's going on here I probably need to seal one of them whichever one it came out of oh it's falling all over the place you guys so yeah one of these are out so I'll have to put it back in there and let me stop moving the book around because yes it is all falling out let me put this back on the page so Hopefully, when I pick it up, I'll remember that all that stuff dropped out. But that's what I have. But I made the angel that I showed you all last week. I made it into a plaque. And here's the plaque. Okay. Here is the actual plaque right here. And I used so many different elements. I just wanted to... My auntie's name is Patricia. But I didn't want to put her name on the plaque. I was going to do it as a name plate and then I decided not to. I decided to just put um, prayer changes things on there. How pretty is that? And I just want to show you a lot of the elements that I use. This is some trim that I actually purchased from I think it was Tuesday morning. It's elastic. It's real pretty. So I took a I took some and made a flower out of it, used a button and a recollections little gem thing, and I used a bunch of the alphabet beads and the word beads. This says I smile. This says always believe. Yeah, and I just decorated it with washi tape mostly it has a lot of bows on it that's made out of washi tape and twine and basically and I'm pulling glue off as we speak if I see it yeah because you know how you put this stuff together you get a lot of those little glue strings yeah so here we are I'm just gonna I mean I actually decorated this with washi as you can see the size it has the washi I have some bead jewel let's see this stuff I have this going around the plaque and 
around the box right there so I try to coordinate it all this is the finish I actually put the angel dust on there or what is that glamour dust is by who is this by I use this uh, deco art glamour dust to put on the wings because I wanted it to be super light not soup not real shiny so yeah I actually did that to the wings to make them just a little shiny and everything else is just a lot of elements and I'm really hoping that she likes this and I use some of the Jilly Bean word cards I just cut them down I have precious here cherish here and a door here and so that they would fit on the card I just think this is so adorable I like it and I'm gonna make me one and I don't want to tell you all this but you'll have to keep watching my channel I'm planning to do one as a giveaway but you'll have to give me enough time to actually make it I don't even know what color to make it so if you all uh, participated in my giveaway what color would you make your angel? Would she have a pink dress on? Whatever color you think her dress should be. Mention that in this video and I'll consider something once I do the actual plaque. If you're interested in even um, participating in a giveaway and I can't say when because I have to make it first, okay? And once I make it, but give me some colors that you would like to see this this angel in if you wanted it because nine times out of ten whatever color the angel clothes are is the color that I would decorate the plaque but I liked it on a plaque I thought I just wanted her to sit on something so I after I set her on this and that's how I was gonna send it to my auntie I just thought she needed something more substantial to sit on so I actually set her on that but yeah this is using mostly washi lace just some doodads and stuff um yeah so tell me what you think how does it look okay would you like it because i'm going to finish her flip book and i want the flip book to match this and i just want something for her to sit on her desk and the flip book is going to have supposedly i'm gonna have i'm gonna do a lot of pictures that she could put in her flip book um, with her family members and stuff in it yeah and there you are all right everyone that's my video oh it didn't go over 15 minutes yay all right thanks for watching talk to you later bye